Yes, you have read correctly. I'm going to be talking about the color of the year for spring summer 2024. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome to MM Design or mm, Design. My name is Maria and I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> Proud to say that. I do fashion reports based on the runways and this is a mini episode about the oranges and the peach. Finally, we have Pantone that has released the color of 2024. I've been waiting for this for quite some time. I already released the color trends, but I was missing the one component. And they have discussed that the color of the year is the fuzzy beach. It's so cute. I'm like thinking of fuzzy peaches candy now. I have a horrible sweet tooth. But anyways, a peach hue softly nestled between pink and orange. A peach fuzz brings belonging, inspires recalibration, and opportunity for nurturing, conjuring up an air of calm, offering us a space to be, feel and heal, and to flourish from whether spending time with others or taking time to enjoy a moment by ourselves. Latrice Elsman, executive director of Pantone Color Institute, said in a media release, drawing comfort from peach fuss, we can find peace from within, impacting our well-being. An idea as much as a feeling. Peach fuzz awakens our senses of the comforting presence of tactility and cocooned warmth. On the runways, we did have a few of these. Some of them are mostly resembling like maybe like on a nude side peach, so it was difficult to tell. But here you saw all of the looks that were somewhat monochromatic. As part of the runway color trans Pantone released a desert flower, which is very close to the fuzzy peach or peach fuzz. Desert flower is a warm and engaging pink whose blooms thrive under the sun. We also have a much more orangey color, sun orange, as featured by Pantone. We have sun orange, opening orange, reflective of a brilliant sunset. So this one is orangeade, a sweet, mildly tangy red-orange hue. Orangeade has fruity citrus touch. So in this video, I'll be discussing how they were paired on the runways and maybe you can find some inspiration if you love orange to do the same. Of course, there were a plenty of examples of them being paired with something neutral, maybe with beige, maybe with browns, blacks, etc. Uh, it's pretty easy to do any color. Looks great with these neutral colors. Orange is usually more for the warmer skin tone people out there, but if you do love orange and you just do not vibe with it near your face, then go for it and maybe the bottoms like skirts and trousers or maybe a handbag or shoes in that color. Don't go for like earrings or anything, nothing that's close to your face. Next one is basically the complementary color combination. So with orange, the brightest color combination is with a lighter blue color. Why does it work? Because they're on the opposite sides of the color wheel. They complement each other and make themselves look even brighter when they're put against each other. Like for people with a cool cooler skin tone, you can go for like maybe a blue top and an orange bottom. See how my eyes pop? The light blue and the orange. It's like magic. I shall stop. Let's take a look at the combinations with green. There weren't too many, but it was very nice. Like this one, minty, very fresh green. Almost kind of a gray green, even, in some of the Fendi, just as in Zimmerman and Bottega Veneta. Okay, moving on into more of the analogous colors, we have somewhat like the yellow, orange, pink kind of a situation coming together 
as one in an outfit and that is always an easy and really fun way to do it we also see this same with yellow and another analogous color combination they're very close on the color wheel and it's really easy to combine them both this is probably would be more for people with a warmer skin tone since both the yellow and the orange are really warm warmer tones we see missoni having these very peachy kind of orange top dresses we also see the kind of orange underwear thing in diesel here we have some orange gloves with yellow tops in fendi Nero also continuing the thing with their underwear i don't know i don't know here are some combinations of peach and orange once again this would be an analogous color combination really it just looks so nicely put together there's nothing too crazy about it although they're both really bright colors because they are so close to each other on the color wheel it really naturally there we have some purple and orange color combination it more like a triad combination but but with secondary colors which is perfectly okay as well we also see this with pink too so you guys this completes the video yes it's very short but we're talking about the particular colors and if you love a certain color i just wanted to to group it all together for you so you can just maybe rewatch it and find some little inspirations of how you can wear that color in a new fresher way for sure my favorite one is the kind of a baby blue and orange especially for spring i myself don't own almost anything orange i had to go and like get a sports bra out there thank goodness i had some makeup as i am going for the rainbow i will be talking about the yellows in the next video if you still haven't checked out the full video of all of the colors you can check it out or if you want some inspiration of how to take all the trends and actually put them into real life world, real life outfits. You can check out my Instagram where I am a mid-sized person trying to create a little bit of an extraordinary outfit. Anyways, I am really excited to go and create some more videos for you. So stay tuned for more colors and then it's gonna be like patterns and textures and etc. So if you love fashion, make sure to subscribe if you aren't already if you like this video like it comment please for the algorithm you guys it's not for me it's for the algorithm <laughs> and hopefully i'll see you soon and yeah stay classy